Oh. Is signing to a label better than keeping your independence as an artist? Well, I mean, I feel like it, it varies because we've seen people have success within a label or according to what they showcase. Let me say that. And then we know there's cases or instances where people remain independent and they still utilize their stature and all of their knowledge according to their, their trials and never to really prosper in any lane. So I think it, 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 it varies according to your knowledge, according to what you're trying to um, initiate. For me, like for me, I want to practice and acquire all things I need to know. I could probably want some independence for me. But then again, too, if, if all things align to where a label presented something to me and I can help me prosper with the music, yeah, I'm going to fuck with them. But I don't know. Yeah, why you feel about that? Like, what you think? Independence? It depends, right? So if you, it, it's, it's a scale. You need leverage. So if you're an artist and you don't have an have a leverage and you all of a sudden get a buzz and you're looking for your way out then your your, your goal may be to sign a deal mm. but you want to probably go on that deal understanding what you're getting and getting yourself into or you could just create the own lane create the leverage and then you go and walk in and the deals come to you that part usually when you go search for things you ain't gonna really get what you're looking for so you got to build that leverage up so if you got the leverage man do that shit yourself the fact website i ain't gonna lie i did i i I can second that because it's also so like you creating your own realm of how you want to maneuver because sometimes when you sign to a label, you almost sign the way you're right. And that's when that's when a phrase like, oh, you selling your soul coming to coming to play because you you selling your your full on freedom to really create and, and maneuver how you want within your craft. So yeah, nah. Independence, I would say, is about a all day independence until they throw the check and then the stipulations all lined up. Yeah, you know, then I'll like, sign like 10 mil. I'll none sign of that, 10 none mil. that weird shit. <laughs> you feel that it's hard to move and further the music industry as an independent artist rather than having oh man, with shit, with any business, you, you with any business, it's hard to move by yourself. There's you only but so loud you're gonna be able to scream, only but so many emails and phone calls you're gonna be able to make. You know, what I'm saying you're gonna. You're gonna need a team. You're gonna find. You have to find a team. Mm -hmm. Either find some 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 virtual assistants, find some people in other countries, mm -hmm. find some people close to you. That's a fact. Your job is you gotta find people that you could put them in place in areas that you know you don't want to perform those tasks in, so you can do the things that you need to be doing. Most well sad. I ain't gonna lie. Shit. Yeah. Like for me, I feel like um the team is the most crucial thing because everybody has a role to play. You can't build a house without. The foundation first. You gonna build a roof first. When you when you come, they concerned to like building a crib. So all I being said, yeah, like you need people that know all things to incorporate within the the one goal. You feel what I'm saying? I can even reference into basketball. LeBron is probably one of the greatest niggas ever. That nigga can't he can't win a game just by himself. You feel me? He need his supporting cast. So yeah, build your team according to the to the frequencies y'all niggas know y'all align with and have that one track mind and one one goal to accomplish and. Push towards that. Yeah, you need a team. I ain't gonna lie.